Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Dota 2 Underlords. I'm going to quickly put the volume up a little bit here. As you all know, we had some music playing in the background in the previous episodes and that all resulted in us getting permanently freaking banned from half the world. So we don't want that to happen again, so we're going to not have any um, sound. Are we going to... I'm going to lose the first one. That's okay. We're not going to have any... Um, oh, we are going to have sound, sorry. We're not going to have... Uh, what do you want to call it? Uh, any background music playing anymore unfortunately in these videos because I don't care about the copyright strikes or not getting monetized or not as I said I'm, I'm never making money on these videos anyway. I do however care though about Getting banned on 240 Countries because I feel like that's some bullshit and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one so uh, I Mean warlocks are broken strong Probably want to go warlocks. We'll take the warlock combo if we want to win we have to, and since I have to record this super late at night and get the video out tomorrow, uh, it's very difficult because time is of the essence, as they say, and it's just one of those situations where I found myself in a sticky situation in the sense that I didn't expect to get banned. I just thought I would get the like, no, what? I'm not demonetized, so I'm not monetized, so I won't get demonetized. But I just thought they'll do the whole thing where like, okay, you can't monetize this video. And I'm like, whatever, I'm not monetized anyway. But no, 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 no. Now they've changed it. Now it's a situation they're like, listen, if you, uh, oh, these little play wars counters, Savage and Warlock. Hmm, interesting. I'm not going to go Mages, so we'll go Brutes of the Aggressor, I guess. Give that to our Venom and so so yeah, so I was just like, okay, that's frustrating. That's a little bit like shitty. I don't, I'm not appreciate that. So no more background music. It sucks. Uh, if I could play the background music and just not get be able to monetize, I would do it. I'll be like, whatever. I don't care about the money uh, because, as I've mentioned many, many, many times, I'm not making any money from YouTube anyway. So for me, it would just be a pure, um, a very easy decision to make. I wouldn't actually even have to think about it to be all, to be honest and honest with you. It's just I'll do it because, uh, as I said, who cares? If they want to say I can't monetize the episode or if the people that own the music monetize the episode, I'm full, I'm sure with that. But don't ban my video, my 40 minute long video <laughs> in 244 countries for what I, what was the equivalent of like 3 minutes of sound that they picked up of the actual music. The one sound clip was 2 seconds guys. I'm not even kidding you, the one sound clip was 2 seconds long. 2. And I was like... Get a little bit ripped off, <laughs> you know what I mean? Just a tad, just a tad. Like, so that was frustrating, but uh, you know that's that's life, as they say. So we just have to accept it and move on. I'm just gonna switch out these units quickly. I want the witch doctor in instead of the Veno for now, as it's just a better combo. So I might give up the Veno and Tusk and give up the um, Savage bonus here because I don't really have a san sav synergy. I only have a Warlock synergy, so I'll keep the Veno for a bit, I guess. But um, we're going to be hoping for more Juggernauts and go for the Brawny strat as we do have the Brawny combo things here. So we're hoping that uh, with that we can somehow pull out a victory. But it looks like this anti is kind of wrecking my butt. So this might be a little bit diffi more difficult than I anticipated. Except I'm not sure who's getting the kills though. If it's Witch Doctor, it will suck. Okay, so it's not Witch Doctor getting the kills. It is Axe getting the kills mainly. And I hopefully Jug will clean up and get the final kills. And... Not the Witch Doctor, except this dude's still healing of the Enchantress quite heavily, and hopefully Jug got that. It does look that's the case. Sweet, so Jug and Axe both picking up kills. Very good, as that uh, establishes us already some Borny bonus, which is nice. So, um, yeah. No more background music. A little bit sad, I actually was having a good time just jamming to the music in the back, just chilling, just relaxing, being like, mm hmm. Yeah, that's my. And that's my jam, bap, bap, and that's actually that's a Gwen Stefani song, but uh, you guys get the picture. And uh, not being able to listen to music so, kind of sucks, dude. I kind of feel a little bit robbed, you know, a little bit. Actually, let's do this. Do this. So we have the troll bonus too, which just means our witch doctor should get his stun up a little bit faster, which just means should secure us a little bit of a victory. We don't mind going to zero. Oh my god, never mind. We are we are gonna lose. Three level twos. Excuse me, three level twos at round five. Excuse me, that means that this guy literally got three bats, three bloods, and three bounties at round five. Now that is nine units plus the Christmas, which is ten units. So, 
That is ridiculous. I, I don't know how the hell that happened, but it did. So hopefully we're getting some kills on our uh, axe and our uh, juggernaut. That's all that really matters. That they can get some, pick up some nice early kills here for us. Because obviously if they get kills, we get... Uh, we get that brawny bonus, which we really like. So we got the warlock and brawny bonus, which is pretty decent. Bat better than shaman. Bat's a knight. We don't really care about knights. So we don't want any of these units, unfortunately. So we're just going to pass the turn and do nothing. I uh, hope once again... Which we're just going to use the early round to attempt to get as many kills on our level 2 axe and our level 1 jug as possible. And then... Uh, get get some better warlocks. Get some more brawny units that disrupt as a warlock too. So it actually synergizes really, really well. We get the brawny out of the disruptor and the warlock bonus out of the disruptor. And then also hope for potentially the... Um, the Beastmaster just to clear up that uh, brawny combo. Plus the Beastmaster does a lot of damage, so that'll be nice. Except I feel like they are not losing any HP at all. I guess we're attacking the tankiest unit, which is the Chainmail Tusk. That explains why the units were not dying, and I'm very sad, and I do but I do understand. So, although I'm sad and it sucks, I do understand why it happened. Just kill the Jug before you die, please. Okay, so unfortunately, my... All my units, all five of my units, attack the 1,400 HP level 2 tusk with the chainmail. And not one of my five units decided to attack the level 1 zero item juggernaut. So that's confusing and frustrating at the same time. But what can you do, I guess? I guess this is one of the things. So uh, a lone is always a uh, tempting pickup. So I think I will pick it up. Uh, and Lycan, I think, is also good enough. I might switch up the lineup here a bit. So I'm going to put in the Lycan. And I'm also going to put in the Lone Druid in the, your place. And I'm going to do it like this. Okay, so we're doing it like this. We're losing some synergies. Okay, the Warlock synergy. But we're getting a stronger unit in the form of Lone Druid and Lycan. Um, as well as getting the Savage bonus now, which we didn't have before. So I think it should be worth it. There is a level 1 sniper in the back just chilling. It's going to probably kill a lot of my units. Before my other units can really do much, but hopefully the stun's great. And it should be fine. And we're fine. Okay. Oh, that was very scary. I was actually pretty worried for a long time there. Um, you, know, you never know what's going to happen in these type of games, so always got to be risky. It's always a little bit risky. Uh, I'm kind of stuck. <laughs> okay, so there's like three raises, which I will literally pick up just to have three raises in my party instead of the witch doctor for now because it's better DPS and clearly we are lacking in DPS, so something we can definitely work towards. Um, Tusk probably go, but we're gonna need to start looking at economy soon. So, kill wise, um, we are sitting on six on the axe, which is great, and five on the jug. So, you can see that really they got a lot of HP 1900 on the level two axe, 1050 on the level one jug. Jug would never survive usually, uh, with that amount of HP that he had, but he will now because now he has uh, the added advantage of having like seven kills. Uh, or the Jug has like 5, but the Axe got 7 already, so that's really nice. And every single time Axe or Jug picks up a singular kill, they get 50 HP. And if I, if I am correct... Yeah, yeah, so it's only the eight, only units they kill. So he gets extra 250. No, but he doesn't, because they, they were put on 850 at 1050, so it is for all Brawny. So uh, it does actually count all Brawnies together. So I uh, actually had a, I was having an, uh, I'm not going to say argument. Argument would sound so aggressive, but I was having a, a conversation with a, with a friend of mine about how the, what, how this works, right? And, you know, he's on the side of like, well, you, it only counts the, the brawny that, like Axe, how many kills Axe has, that's much more HP, I guess. And I was like, no, no, I'm pretty sure it does all of them. And I mean, 1,407 kills, 50 HP per kill is 350. His base HP is way less than one, 1,950. He is on 1,050 and he's got five kills, 250 plus. Oh, it is actually right, because he has 800 naturally. So it is actually just 150 uh, for every person. So this is, guy's got the Warlock strat. Uh, YouTube.com slash Prachat. I'm, I'm fucking literally promoting someone else's YouTube channel on my channel. But, uh... 
yeah go check him out he's probably better than me and has many many more viewers and subscribers so i'm just kidding don't go check him out i'll be hot so my five loyal faithful viewers i appreciate every single view and the support is really nice like the only reason i still make youtube videos is aka i super enjoy it it's like i just i literally just find it fun like no jokes i'm actually being legit serious i just find it fun so i do it for that reason alone but it wouldn't be as doable if it was not for the the viewer the few viewers that i do have that show a lot of love and support for the channel so it does really help and it does incentivize me to try better and make better content and make better videos so that's what i'm trying to do and you know we've got we got a couple of avenues going here we got the youtube thing we're trying to get the twitch thing up and running asap get some live interaction with you guys uh we got the little patreon going where i can literally just talk to you guys directly as well as take requests for games because i think like it's very nice if you as a viewer can be like oh i really want to see Sekiro run with no prosthetics. I mean, it's a very boring one. Lobus has already done it, and I know it's super like done already, but it's just the first thing that came to mind. And then I'll be like, awesome, that's great, let's do it, you know, because my viewers and supporters ask for it. And I'll be like, I love to do that, that that's fun. So I don't have a problem with that. Um, I think we actually do want an enchantress. So pick her up. Um, so yeah, you know, it's just the situation of like lots of avenues, and we got the the Facebook, we got the Twitter, we got it all. So if you guys haven't been haven't checked those out, check those a lot. Like, join the things. I update every single day on Facebook, uh, whether it's a new video that's come out or if it's just a post about a game that's coming out that I'm interested in and I want to pick up or something like that. Not very active on Twitter, uh, just because like I don't don't, I don't really understand it. <laughs> it. It pretty much boils down to I don't actually understand it. So, because I don't understand it, it, it just causes a situation of like, I, I'm i like, what am I doing? I'm not entirely sure. And then, yeah. So, I'm pretty sure you guys get the picture there. And uh, other than that, you know, YouTube videos every single day on my channel. No matter what, there will be a YouTube video every day on my channel. Even if it's like one video a day and not two videos a day, there will always be videos on my channel. And uh, last but certainly not least, I would say... Um, you know, the only way I can grow is with your support. So if you have friends or, or family or anyone that's like interested in YouTube or how YouTube works or anything along those lines, be sure to 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 inform them that I am I am I am up and going, up and going. So unfortunately, I need disrupt in my party. A because he's a brawny, and B because he uh, gives me a lot of good stuff. But I lose Lycan, and I think I, I want Lycan. I was gonna want a Warlock bonus soon, so we're gonna want to add the Witch Doctor back. We we'll take out one of the axes, I'm assuming. But uh, yeah, it's a little bit difficult. I don't want to roll too much, but I do want to, of course, roll some so that I actually have something. I think my I'm pretty sure my racer just used his alt and missed all of it and did nothing. <laughs> I, I'm I'm about 90% sure that is the situation that just happened. So. Raze, if you do not, there we go. I was going to say, Raze, if you do not kill, kill everyone right here, I'm going to lose, and I'm going to lose very, very painfully. I think Razor is doing nothing, so Razor will get sold now, and we'll put Lycan back. I, I, I'm looking at it, I'm running numbers, I'm doing the math, and Razor, you are just a waste of space. Welcome to the party, Lycan. Your new life has awaited you. You are finally here, and uh, put, oh, there was an item on Lycan. Tidehunter, 100% gets put in, in the place of Axe. I don't have to think about that. And I'm definitely going to roll a little bit here, because I really want that level to lichen or like more jugs potentially so we roll quite heavily here chantress is fine i feel like we're getting a little bit unlucky here it's okay i feel like we got we got very unlucky not to get a single enchantress a single veno a single shadow shaman a single lichen a single witch doctor and all those rounds it just does feel a little bit unnatural to me but it is what it is so we're going to lose this one pretty hard the assassins are doing the assassin thing uh ravage did come out though which is making up some massive progress and the beast the blood seeker is healing so insanely much because he just kills the little wolves uh, uh, level one wolves so it's very easy for him so we are like in a bad place we just lost like eight hp put us into the middle of the pack feeling a little bit weak feeling a little bit underwhelming we have no economy so we're losing on that front too so pretty bad over all in all 
We have to make a choice now. I think Shaman got to go. Shaman, you're not doing anything for me. Uh, Ravenna, you're going to go too. And now we need to like get a like and right now. Or we need to readjust our entire strategy. We are Enchantress. Enchantress will go in for the Lycan simply because this gives me the added benefit of having uh, the level 2 Lone Druid, which is, as you all know, very good. And now we don't have to spend because we got the level 2 Lone Druid. The level 2 Lone Druid pretty much saved us from having to like really go crazy here and roll stupidly and get screwed, I'm assuming. So. As long as our lone druid gets his thing out, we should be fine. We should get it. There we go. Level 2 bear. Feels good. The out from the disruptor feels pretty good too. Uh, Jug is doing nothing. Axe is not really doing anything, but he might get a singular kill. I don't think so. I think the bear got it. And uh, Jug might kill Alina for us. I hope so. I can't tell who's killing who, but... Uh, Jug and Axe are both at the bottom of the damage thing, so I'm pretty sure they're not doing much. <laughs> but it's okay. Every, every time they get a singular kill, that's a little bit more HP, and I'm very appreciative of that. So, that's great. Give me a level 2 Lycan, man. There we go. Now, I want the level 2 Lycan in, and I'm going to put it in place of the Jug for now. It, it hurts me tremendously, I must admit, because clearly Jug is a Borny unit, and I'd want Borny units to get the Borny unit combo. But I do need to realize that, okay, that's what I see. You have 1,400 and you have 11 kills. So that's extra 550 HP that you should get. So you should go to 1,950. What do you actually go to though? 2,150. Can I not count? 11 times 50 is 550. Plus 1,400 is 1,950. Where did you get the additional 200 HP from? The Disruptor. Disruptor probably has kills. Is it the Disruptor? Is that the answer to the all my questions? Was the Disruptor giving more HP? And does that mean I need a Jug in for the Jug's kills to count towards your kill count? Let's see. So, Disruptor should have four kills if it works like that. One kill. So, I have no idea. I actually have... I actually have no idea how this works anymore. Okay, I feel like I'm just getting Void Stones forever. For like literally ever. So, yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. I want to level up. Gotta wait two more turns to... I, mm, I gotta wait two more turns to do it, but I don't really want to. I wanna level up right now. I really wanna level up right now. I'm gonna level up right now. I just... I really want the, uh, the Juggernaut in there. And this is stupid because now I'm like... Broke. And I don't have any good units. So... Yeah. We need a Jug really bad. And then we want uh, the Witch Doctor to level... Three and then disrupt as high as we can. And then we just like go with this run. So we're looking for axes, we're looking for lichens, we're looking for tides, we're looking for jugs, we're looking for disruptors. Uh, lone Jutes, of course, too. So basically, like we don't have. What's what's that? What's kind of nice though, I guess, is that we don't really have to um, like go out of our way spinning anymore. We we really got a solid lineup that can carry us with enough HP to carry us for a while. So now we're just gonna like uh, save money as long as we can without actually like. And this time, actually try and save money. And just hope our bonus get a couple of kills and the warlock shit somehow works. <laughs> but we only have one warlock, so we're not actually using the warlock combo to its up utmost. So like Jug go is Jug actually got Jug's actually gotta go. But he's got eight kills. Okay, I wanna do the math. Okay, so it's 12, 13, 21 kills. Okay, 21 kills and you are on 1400. 21 kills times 50. I will not get this wrong, it's 1050 HP, so you should go to 2000. 450 HP. If you are not on 2450 HP, I give up because then I literally don't know how this works. If you are on 2450 HP, uh, 2450 HP, X, I don't, I don't actually know how this works. So let's find out. How much HP are you on? How much HP are you on, Nexty boy? 2200. I give up. I officially give up. I've, I've tried everything in my heart of hearts. I really tried my best. And like, I gave it my all, and my all was clearly not good enough, so it is just what it is. Please kill them before they get heals off, thank you. Because there's got three super healers there, which means they're just going to chain heal forever. And <laughs> this fight could go on for a while. And he's got the lone druid heal thing when the druids die, so he's got super heals. But I, I'm sure my silence or my disruptor played a massive role there. Just give me a jug, just give me, just give me one jug, okay? Just give me one jug, and I'll be like, okay, it's fine, okay? Just, just the one. That's all I care about. I don't even care about, like, 
a level two lunger or I don't even care about like level two or level three X. Just give me one jug. That's all I ask for. Just one jug. Are oh, you gonna give me the one jug? No, you don't. Why not? I don't know. I don't know, dude. You just never give me the jug. You literally never give me the jug. I don't understand it. I do not understand it. But you know what can you do? What can you do, guys? What can you do? Two level threes. Is that a level three venom answer? That is a level three venom. Blink that guy. I'm gonna get destroyed by a level two venom man. Do a blink. Dragon. Oh, am I? Nope, I am. Because he's gonna summon so many plague wars. And every time he summons, he heals too, right? Yeah. Holy shit, dude. Level three venom man is legit. With the blink, a level three blink dagger venom man means he gets his spells almost immediately. So, I spent so much time attacking the venom wards that I just lost. It was frustrating, but I think. Wouldn't that be good if my uh, these units get kills in the Venom Wards because it gives him more HP? Because I'm sure the Venom Wards still count, right? I don't know. And we need a single axe. We need uh, two tides. We need uh, finally the Juggernaut. I disrupt the two. I will pick up. But I'm just gonna wait a turn. Uh, two lone druids. That's about all. We we Gucci. So we just chilling. We just chilling. We we we're a bit low on the HP side now. I'm worried, you know. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Level 2 Jug is going to change things up, I'm pretty sure. But I'm pretty excited for the level 2 Jug jug lifestyle. Very, very good. One more round and we get some neutrals. Oh, this guy's got Scrappy, Scrappy, Warlock, and it's, yeah, Scrappy, Warlock combo. So that's frustrating. That's really frustrating because the Warlocks will infinitely heal and the Scrappies will infinitely heal. So this person will just infinitely heal and I will not be able to beat this person, unfortunately. So it sucks a little bit, but that's his life, I guess. At least kill what just at least kill the bounty bear. Thank you, bear. Thank goodness the bear is alive. Because without the bear, we got wrecked. Oh my god, warlocks, dude. I told you, like, I don't want to go warlocks in the start of the game. Because every game of I play of uh Doran Lords is just people spamming warlocks, spamming warlocks. Which Dr. SF broken Broken combo. Oh, I almost forgot to buy the freaking disruptor. I would have been so sad. Broken combo, it's super super good. Um and you know that's why they do it if it's really good people do it that's just how it works so uh we got the bears the bears will defeat me of this i'm 100 percent sure but uh you know it is it is what it is i don't mind too much i might sound like i do but i really don't i'm super chilled right now having a good time looking for that level two disruptor looking at that level two tide hoping one day what is the i haven't looked at the enemy boards once this whole game we got one warlock, two warlock, three warlock, four warlock combos, and I'm potentially gonna have a fifth warlock. So half the people on this board are playing warlocks, and there's five demon strats, two scrappy strats. That's actually insane that there's so many scrappy strats because scrappy strats are kind of rare. I'm actually potentially gonna beat the bears, maybe? No. I was gonna say like once this bear, once the second bear dies, this bear just starts hitting for 750 damage to hit. So it kills all the units into it. So it's just it's too much. Even my axe can't can't keep up with that, honestly. Uh, I guess arcane boots is fine, but we didn't really get anything we wanted. So I'm gonna give it to the axe, I guess, because it really doesn't matter who gets arcane boots here. Hoping for a single a moon shard. I get arcane boots and someone else got a moon shard. Excuse me, I got an arcane boots and someone got a moon shard. Hello, Dota, Underlords, balance, please. I'm assuming it had to be the uh, the Russian guy because he's the only one smuggler, so he's the only one who can get a, a item that's one level tier up. But I mean, I get the arcane boots, which is fine. It's a fine item. It's not good. It's not bad. It's not great. It's just fine. He gets a mother effing moon shot. You're not good at moon shot. How much HP have, actually, boy? That's 220. Disruptor is sitting at 105, and Juggy is sitting at 18. The Juggy is actually sitting at such a nice amount of HP now. He's pretty tanky with zero items on. That's nice. Lundred Bear 16, super strong unit as per usual. Juggy, you getting some kills up in here, Juggy? Eight kills? No, not really. Okay. Enchantress, she's getting kills. My freaking Enchantress with 80 DPS is getting kills. But my Juggernaut and my Axe are not getting kills at all. What are you, what's your DPS Axe? 
Oh, uh, saving is less than challenges, I guess. Lone Druid is winning the deep. Oh, there's my final unit. It's the final unit that we wanted. So I'm gonna roll a bit here. Because, why not? Well, there we go. I was gonna say the answer is because unless we get level 3 axe or the level 2 disrupt, it's kind of not good because I'm gonna lose money. But I'm like, let's just do it and see what happens. So we have a 2800 HP axe with arcane boots. Okay. What are you now after this? buff after the buff 2800 were you 2800 ready 3700 that is way better that is way better you might get multiple calls off now. oh this is uh another warlock strat fun but silence silence might defeat the warlock strat will it defeat the warlock strat i don't know lycan is lycan is doing work somewhere i'm not entirely sure where but somewhere lycan is doing work i feel like i'm still losing though too much, just too much, yeah, too much heal on Warlocks. Dude, Warlocks are so stupid, and this guy's going Warlock Knight. Like, Nikita, you actually going the most broken combo in the game, Warlock Knight. Like, no one goes Warlock Knight, because it's just so boring and easy. You know how easy it is to win if you go Warlock Knight? You put the SF in the back line and three fucking knights in the front line, and you instantly win the game. If you have a Luna with a bomb on, then you just freaking don't even have to try. You can actually walk away from the freaking counter for like 10 minutes and still get a win. Ready, dude, are you that desperate? Are you that desperate? You have two Aegises? Level 3 Warlock. Who would have thought level 3 Warlock was good, but it is. Man, that's frustrating, man. That's really frustrating for me. It's a situa- it's just simply a situation of, uh... I- I mean, I get- I'm gonna roll here a little bit. There we go. It was worth- it was worth the roll, I think. Uh, I really want this Witch Doctor level 2 in. So, I wanna get to level 8 and put that Witch Doctor in as soon as I can. Oh, a Mage Bolt! Okay, you know what, Mr. Rushing? I have respect for you, at least. At least you're going mage bolt. You're probably going to destroy me because you're going mage bolt. Oh, except my disruptor just silenced all your mages. I'm so sorry. If your mage didn't get silenced, I'm pretty sure you destroyed me. Look at that card of blast. I knew it. And then the, the puck blast. So you actually are destroying me. He's up, oh, but then the second uh, disruptor comes out. And then it's like... Mm. And then my axe and my jug will get some more kills to make it even more boring. Except that actually, if any of you three get the kills, it's great. It's absolutely great. So we really want to get a warlock out here. Like... Really bad, so we want to get level 8 for that witch doctor ASAP. I think two more rounds, two more rounds before we can get the warlock out. Literally want nothing there, so we do nothing, I guess. So, how much kills we got now? We got the uh, 16 here, 26, 31. We got 31 kills on these brawny units already. It's not bad, 31 kills times 50 HP each, if it's working the way I think it is, which I don't think it is, 1550. Um, extra HP for all the units. Now, how many how you are on 2.8 and you go up to... You go up to 37, right? So you only go up by 900. You only go up by 38. So you go up by exactly 1,000. 16 divided by times 50 is not 1,000. It is uh, 800. So I'm, I have, I literally have no idea how this works. Oh, this is the fucking Venomancer Warlock Infinity... Infinity... Infinity Strat. I, I, I'm gonna get the words out of my mouth eventually, guys. You just need to give me some time. What do I do against this? It's infinity fucking play wards, which means infinity um, heals because of because Warlocks is broken. Simply because the strat is broken, this per player destroys without actually having to do much work. Uh, I mean, I could have also just rushed Warlocks in the early game. You saw I had Venera, you saw I had uh, Witch Doctor. We could have gone Warlocks, we could have been like, yeah, we'll go Warlocks for the free win. But I was like, no, I want to be a, a proper, like, Oh, I don't want to say man, because that sounds really weird, but I wanted to just do it and be like, okay, you know what? We're going to give it a legit shot, a legitimate shot here, and we're actually going to take units we really want and tr try the brawny warlock uh, thing, even though I don't want to play warlock. We just get two, so we have some kind of warlock bonus since we took it as our first starting thing. But I didn't want to just get a free win of taking warlock, because it's boring. It's boring. Now, I also do, however must add to this caveat of my complaining about people pick warlocks is I it's a game and you want to win the game I get it so you're gonna pick the best unit you can pick I also get that don't get me wrong I understand it completely and that like it literally makes one percent perfect sense I'm just like a little bit of a baby when it comes to uh, stuff I guess I like to be unique in a sense try different things try um, different strat strats that aren't the go-to Always the same every single time strat. So this bear better entangle this bird 40 times or I'm done. Well, I mean, it's not going to entangle shit if it, gets, if it evades every attack. 
I'm pretty sure this this bird has evaded like 40 attacks, right? Yeah, okay. Just, just can you kill me faster, please? Because it's taking so long to kill me. I'm bored now. 1,850 HP disruptor is actually so nice. It's actually so nice. You guys don't even understand. I mean, we did okay here, I think. We really did okay on that fight. Uh, we still lost, but we didn't do too bad. I need Nikita gear to get knocked out because they're going the worst, the most horrible build ever. But you must disown yourself for taking that build build. Which is, of course, as you all know, the... Uh, the um, Warlock Knight combo. Because we do not allow the Warlock Knight combo up in here. Okay, so now we actually have no choice but to level up. Because if we don't level up, we are going to be so far behind. That uh, I think we will just get destroyed. So I'm going to also look for units here. Pretty... I'm going to go pretty hard on this, I think. So I know I just added the other dude, but he immediately gets taken out, so that's life. Life happens sometimes, you just need to accept it. So now we're going Warlocks too, so we, we just as bad, if not worse. 1-8, still 3-8, 1-9. Up, mm. oh, SF out in the back lines. Ravage the comeback potential. Disruptor out, just the off somewhere, I just don't know where and what it did. I feel like I'm losing this one. Asif did blink again, but there goes the out out from the disruptor, kind of pulling us back into the game right now. Disruptor working as hard as he can. Jug is doing his work, and the entanglements are coming through from the barrier base. Running entangle axe tanking all that damage in the front line with 3800 HP. Super good. Disruptor just outing left, right, and center. Disruptor is an out machine. Disruptor wakes up in the morning to out and just keeps outing his days. Tinkers all alone, thinking I'm gonna use my rocket spells and hit everyone on the board, but unfortunately, because the damage split, no one actually dies. And we get an easy win against Geert Low. Cool. Nikita Gear does not have a win streak thing on it, so he lost in ages. He lost in ages. He only has the one ages left. Let's hope he loses his second ages so we can have a chance. Okay, so that was a very exciting fight. I have to admit, I was it was I was on the edge of my seat. Dude, I like that Venom is actually so good because that Venom will give me uh, the Force Beast as well as a Warlock combo. So I'm actually going to pick it up. I'm going to roll one time. That's it. You get one roll out of me. Now, I really want this Beastmaster 2 in this, on this board. You don't even understand how desperately I want this Beastmaster 2. What can I get rid of? A beast of some kind. But I can't get rid of the, these two beasts. So it has to be the Lycan I get rid of. But Lycan is giving me a warrior bonus. So I can't get rid of Oh, this is Mr. Warlock Infinite Combo Outboy. So he's always a problem. So very, very difficult to kill. But for some reason, it does look like things are getting slightly better. Until the SF out and then the SF out. And then things are starting looking very desperate and sad again. But then the Disrupt out comes through. Hoping that we can and get us through to get a kill. A little bit of uh, stuns coming out there from the... Witch Doctor just keeping the stuns going so that the, uh, this, please tell me these kills on the, the snakes account for the axe. And I will lose, but that was very close. You know what? That was much closer than it's ever been. That was much closer than it's ever been. Unless he's got the thing that these snake units do damage to me, I'm fine. Nikita Gear lost again, so that's the second Aegis down, which is beautiful. One more Aegis to go, and then Nikita Gear will be destroyed. I can pick up SF myself and become one of those guys. But uh, I will do it, but I will refuse to do it, so it's fine. Um, there's a beast mess and a disruptor. We got nothing we want here. And yeah. Okay, so we need to make a choice. We need to make a choice. Are we gonna give up the druids? I think the I think the druids are doing too much. The lone druid bear is doing too much. So we can't give up, even though we could get up to four warlocks, which would give us super here. Oh my goodness, get low again. Except the disrupt out comes through. This is gonna be a very, very close clutch fight again because the SF outcomes through, hitting everybody up, the Alchemist outcomes, and the Al Alchemist out is also hitting everyone. The SF is getting gone on by the bear, which is super useful, because now the SF will not get a secondary spell off the axe, tanking as much as he can tank. A little bit of a stun coming through there from the Witch Doctor, keeping the enemies at bay while Disruptor gets some more mana to cast his out once again, but then the stun comes out from his Witch Doctor, I did not even know he had, but then I ultimately get a little Disruptor out, and Disruptor out is doing some super work, killing off the backline units as best he can. The bear is trying all he can do, but he's just a humble little bear. He can only do so much. The heals from the Scrappy is just too good right now. Jug trying to get me to safety, but the spin from the Timbers will take out the Juggernaut. Disrupt the sitting on his own. Can he beat the units? Of course he can't. That was a very exciting fight too, guys. I must admit, these fights against Getlo are super tight. So I'm actually going to come third last here, which is uh, frustrating. I, it's my own fault. I'm going to stop trying new funny builds, but... I always want to try new funny builds. It's just how I play the game. It's how I prefer to play the game. And 
for now i'm just gonna keep doing it as long as i want to and have fun doing it but it's okay i literally don't even know why i'm spinning but i'm spinning anyway i I'm, I'm honestly can't could not tell you why right now if you ask me i'll be like i'm not entirely sure dude i know i'm spinning can't tell you why though there's another beast master what do we get about the beast master Asus, fuck off this you baited me into the wrong build man go away what do we have here nothing another witch dog is fine up water and this juggy i want the juggy so we give up the well not beast master because beast master is actually good. have disruptor get a juggy and uh yeah do we 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 are we knocked out anyway it doesn't matter we'll lose now Goodbye, cruel world. It was not fair. Every single fucking person on this board went warlock strat. A little bit boring, guys. You know, they are... There's like literally like... Excuse me, I'm busy talking. I don't have time for you to upgrade it. Okay. I lost a level. I lost a level? I lost a level because everyone is spamming fucking warlock strat. Are you serious right now, dude? You took a level from me because everyone is spamming this bullshit. Look how many alliances there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20, 23 fucking strats. And every single human in this world is running warlocks and knights. That is it. Warlocks and knights. Every single game of Dota Unlords is warlock and knight. It gets boring, guys. Try some ingenuity. Try something different. Don't just follow the meta. It's like people that play Magic the Gathering and they only build net decks. I don't understand it. That's so boring. Why would you want to play a game where all you do is you build the fucking strongest deck that everyone else builds? Isn't the point of Magic your creativity to use your brain and build and try different things? Not apparently. Apparently people really just care about winning. I only care about winning if I lose ranks. If I don't lose ranks, I don't care. But I haven't actually lost a rank before. I didn't even know I could lose a rank. I... I wouldn't have played probably as loose and silly had I known what I know now. But that's how it goes in life. Sometimes you know things, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you get surprised. Sometimes you get uh, very unfortunate. It happens. For now, thank you very much for watching this episode of Dota Unlords. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to hit that like button. No music in the background because of copyright strike. YouTube fix your stupid system that doesn't work correctly. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave that comment, you do it all and I'll be a very happy man. I'll see you guys next time with more Dota Lords.